It is as we expected from the Home Office that they weren't going to give us advance uh, notice, perhaps because of the delays that the BB Stockholm has been under over recent weeks and months and also security concerns. But Sky News does understand that the first migrants have now arrived on the BB Stockholm and uh, more are expected to arrive throughout the day. Of course, it was only going to be up to 50 potentially in the first week or so, and then up to 500 by the autumn. So we will see more asylum seekers being moved from hotels. Uh, and brought to uh, the Bibby Stockholm uh, over the coming weeks. Now, what I have heard on the ground here from charity workers is that those first arrivals are going to be from Bristol, Oxford and Tor Bay, and that there has been work uh, through uh, charities to stop nine people coming from hotels uh, in Bournemouth. Um, but we do now understand that the first have arrived uh, on board the Bibby Stockholm. Um, you can see behind me here that there's a group from the Stand Up to Racism uh, group. This is one of the protest groups who've been down here throughout the weeks, raising their concerns and saying that the accommodation on board is inhumane. Uh, it's an inhumane way uh, to look after these people. Let's have a chat uh, with Heather, who's one of the campaigners. Heather, um, thanks for coming down here. And actually, what we've got in front, you've just pulled up a couple of trolleys here. These are the, the, the welcome packs that you're intending to, to hand out later. Yes, absolutely. So these are all donations from local people. We've been overwhelmed with how much support and how many donations we've had. Can um, have a look inside? What, what sort of, of stuff course, we've got yeah. in? Yeah, and so... So we've got a postcard and on the back it's got the name of our group um, with a contact number that's going to be shared around local residents so they can all, um, they can all, uh, they can phone the number for friendship or support or help or to meet the local community. There's notebooks and pens, um, there's toiletries, um, so shower gels. Um, just things to get them started here. Absolutely, we thought about things they need but also we just wanted to show them that the the local community do care about them and do welcome them. There's a lot of concern, of course, about this uh, accommodation. The government insisting it is uh, safe, but yourself and people like the Fire Brigade Union are still saying uh, that they have big concerns. What, what are your worries? I'm, I'm very concerned. Um, One Love to, Life to Live re, um, released a report on it and reading it, it, the fire concerns are really, really concerning and I don't think the government would have had enough time to... Um, look at them fires, fix them, rectify them fire um, concerns. OK, and you're going to be taking these in uh, as the arrivals continue. Yes. Thanks very much for chatting to us, uh, Heather. This is the port entrance, by the way, just down here. You can see the police um, are guarding the entrance here. We are expecting those arrivals uh, on minibuses, on coaches, to continue uh, throughout the day. The Bibby Stockholm is going to be here for at least 18 months. It's part of the government's plan to cut down on that £6 million a day they're spending on hotels. But it's important to to stress that at capacity, this barge, this controversial barge, um, will hold 500 people. Combine that with the ex-military airfields, you're looking at 3,000 asylum seekers. There's more than 50,000 in hotels. So in no way is this uh, the ultimate solution in terms of finding accommodation away from those seaside resorts and city centres. Uh, but it, it is clearly, um, in the government's eyes, a significant move away from what they described this morning as luxury accommodation. It's not what we've seen when we've been looking at the hotels that these asylum seekers are being uh, kept in. But the news that we hear in the last few minutes is that Sky News understands those first asylum seekers are now behind the port gates here. They are now uh, on board the Bibby Stockholm and more are to, due to arrive throughout the day.